Wallingford, or as the locals know it, Wally World, a quintessential New England town that almost 45,000 people call home. And this year in 2022, we are celebrating the town's 350th plus two birthday to commemorate the history, places, and people. This is where it started. We're on Main Street in Wallingford, Connecticut. October 10th, 1667 is where this town was established. And in 1670, the CT General Assembly officially incorporated Wallingford as a town of Connecticut. In the 1700s, Wallingford continued to add some really cool history in town. This guy, George Washington, came through town not once, but twice. His last time in 1789, while he was president of the United States. You can follow his George Washington trail through town with monuments like these guys. By the mid 1800s, Wallingford became well renowned as a flourishing silver industry, which helped it become a bustling town in the heart of Connecticut. And then this guy behind me. In 1871, we got our train station and this was an essential stop on the Hartford to New Haven line. And coming into the 1900s, Wallingford had already become such a desirable town to live in. As a matter of fact, in the 20th century alone, the town's population grew by over 400%. That's unprecedented. And population wasn't the only thing that was growing and expanding during the 20th century. This building right behind me was the town hall building until 1988 before moving around the corner to its present day location on South Main Street. I didn't even get to scratch the surface. Like Wallingford has so much awesome history to it. Like the fact that the Yalesville underpass is the oldest skew arch bridge in America. Or the fact that Lyman Hall, a signer of the Declaration of Independence, was born right down the street. Wallingford is history. This town has so much fascinating stuff to appreciate. And it is why we are here today. So go out and enjoy it. And here's to another 350 years of Wallingford.